Andy. So Bendigo uh, on Friday night. What's your thoughts going into the game? Um, very good team to play against. Um, obviously been winning championships or thereabouts for the last few years. Experienced squad. Uh, they just belted us. Um, so, yeah, we, we've got a lot to think about. You mean yeah, that loss is your only one so far this season. Is there a little bit of... Do you play on the, the emotions and a bit of retribution? I don't think it's so much the retribution or emotions. Um, it's still basket, a basketball game. But we've got information that we can use now. You know, we've got our game tape. We've got other game tapes. Uh, we went into that game relatively unprepared because we'd been so focused on getting the first of the double header the night before. Mm -hmm. um, so the scout probably wasn't as advanced as what uh, we believe we've done on this one. Yeah, how um, how well, how big is your library of sort of tape and everything getting? Because I think you mentioned it to, to the oh, well it, to come by. Yeah, well it was because nobody had played a game mm -hmm. at that stage, and so everybody's it, they've got a good system. Um, you know, the NBL's got a or the WNBL's got a good system now that we can access games basically within 24 hours. Um, so we've got all the games they've played, and we've looked at them all and seen a lot of trends and seen some talented players that we need to deal with and. And, and put a plan in place. And uh, so early into the, this era of the links sitting on top of the ladder, you, you'd have to be pretty happy with that? Well, we are technically on top, but there's four teams tied on three and one, and I think there's one on two and one, and it's early days, and everybody knows that. And, you know, knowing that you've got the, the Queensland uh, double header to face as well at some stage. There's lots of good teams. And some of the teams are only just getting their players together now. So it's great to be three and one, but we know that the reality of the season probably hasn't hit yet. And you, who have you been sort of most impressed by? Um, a lot of people showing early form. Yeah, well, Townsville look good, don't they? And I mean, if you can put 100 points on the board, keep the other team, doesn't matter who, to, you know, incredibly low score, uh, you've got to be doing something right. But, you know, Bendigo's good, Dandenong's good, they were missing a couple of players. Um, Sydney's now hit their straps and hit three in a row. Um, who knows? Yeah. And what are your thoughts on um, Tessa's form so far this season? This would be her first major leadership role um, in the seniors, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, I think it would be. But she's growing and you can see it. You know, you'd almost say she's better in every game. Even the loss, uh, you'd say, was uh, uh, her... She showed more glimpses in that game than she did the week, the, the night before. And then obviously last uh, Sunday, she was outstanding. Uh, to be her size and to go and get 11 rebounds, that's, that's enormous. It's also a credit to the fact that they're working so hard to stop our bigs from getting it, that our guards can chip in and get a rebound. But still, you've still got to go in and get 11 rebounds. So that was phenomenal. And Sammy, uh, Player of the Week this week for the WNBL, are you, are you surprised you never got a shot before? I am somewhat, but you know, you, you never know what's in behind a... C very, very difficult for you to second guess a coach and his plans. You don't know what's been discussed in the room or what's happening out on the floor. And so I, I think, obviously, she's showed now that she can play at that level, but um, I was always of that belief. You know, who can say? Because it's been relatively seamless, isn't it? I mean, what she's doing out there is exactly what she was doing in the SBL. The level hasn't phased her. Well, I don't think it's so much the, uh, the level. It's the quality of players that you can't help off a Luella. You can't help off a Tessa or a Nat or, or somebody like that. So Sam, she's getting a lot of room. Because who do you want to help off? You know, you're going to help off Benajah and she's going to take it, you know, she's going to get a lap. Uh, help off Lou when we saw what Luke did in the first two weeks. So Sam's getting one-on-one uh, -on -one treatment and she's good enough one-on-one -on -one player to get to get a shot off every now and again. Brilliant. Back with Bendigo, I, you know, it was a hard game to really watch over here given it was a wet and away game. Um, what were their strengths and sort of what elements we need to work on to get them with those guys? Well, look, they have, um, they have great experience with each other. So that's, that's, outstanding. That's, that's their number one weapon, I would say. But they've also got some very good pieces. You know, Gab Richards uh, takes a lot of stopping. She's a quality post player. Um, so now you've got to make sure that you've got her covered, which gives Kelsey Griffin, who's really a three man, but, you know, she's, she's big 
uh, so she can post up or she can go outside. So she's a great weapon. Um, you know, and then you've got Wilson, you know, she's, uh, she's coming off driving like crazy. She's excellent. Um, you know, they've got players everywhere. And, uh, and then all of a sudden you fall asleep on Belinda Snell and she knocks down five triples on you. Uh, so they're, they're a quality group.